Welcome to the fifth video in the Ranarex Studio repository series, Manage Multiple Repositories. There are several reasons why you may wish to use multiple repositories. Testing different user interfaces. For instance, you could have a repository for a web application and another for a user interface. Modularizing repositories. An example would be keeping repositories separate so as to logically match a rich client menu's shared controls. Multiple testers on the same project. Conflicts arising from working with others can be circumvented by using multiple repositories. For complex projects, dividing items into different repositories can improve maintenance and performance. We shall begin by creating a new repository. To do so, click the Add Repository button in the Studio toolbar. The repository template is pre-selected. Name the repository and click Create. This results in the new and empty repository being added to the project's view. Here, the new repository is highlighted in red and the default repository in blue. Once you have more than one repository, you can assign them to different recording modules. You can then use the repository items of that repository in the recording. The currently assigned repository is displayed in the repository's toolbar. To change, click on it and select the repository you wish to assign. In this case, test database. If your recording module contains actions that are linked to repository items from the currently assigned repository, you can choose to have Ranarex transfer these repository items to the newly assigned repository. Usually repositories are separated from recording modules. This separation has many advantages. Easy reuse of repository items in different recording modules being just one of them. However, there are cases when you may want to embed a repository in a recording module. Embedding is useful when you want to send someone else a recording you have made. To embed the repository, simply click on the selected repository and select Embed Repository. The repository files can then be found embedded in the recording module. This is the final video in the Ranarex Studio repository series. In the next series we will be looking at test validation.